Hello everyone, this is uh, Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to update Drupal 7. Uh, as you can see I need to update my website right now so I'm going to do this uh, while recording this video. Uh, I figured since I have to do this I might as well show others how to do it as well. So let's go to available updates from our uh, admin panel and then right here we can get the latest uh, Drupal So we download this tar.gz file, which is the latest version. Uh, the version that you're downloading might be different from the version that I'm downloading. Okay, this file has downloaded. Uh, in order to uh, install Drupal, you will need an FTP client. If you already have your own or if you're using Dreamweaver or uh, even your uh, hosting control panel, that's fine. In my case, I'm going to uh, use FileZilla. As you can see, it's right here. I do have Dreamweaver and I do have a control panel that I can use uh, through my hosting account. But uh, for demonstration purposes, I figured I'd use something that others uh, can use as well. And since FileZilla is free, uh, I think it's a program that uh, most of you will find useful. So you can go to file zilla-project.org and download the latest uh, version. In my case, I downloaded uh, the FileZilla Mac version. Uh, you will you might need Windows or whatever, so download that and install the program after you're finished downloading. Um, after you have installed FileZilla, you will need your uh, hosting account uh, credentials so that you can um, log in to your uh, account through FileZilla. Uh, for example, I'm on GoDaddy. If you're on another uh, host, uh, you will need to get your um, credentials from the hosting control panel with that company. Uh, basically, with GoDaddy, I just click on the launch button next to my domain. And then right here, I get the IP address. And I enter this IP address into the host field of FileZilla and then I enter in my, the username that I set up with uh, my hosting uh, provider and I also enter in the password and then I hit quick connect so you'll want to do that okay next uh, you will want to locate your Drupal uh, downloaded file and you will want to unarchive it while uh, your host's uh, control panel might be able to unarchive files once the file is on the server, um, in this example, I'm not going to use any type of control panel. I'm only going to use FileZilla, and FileZilla is not capable of unarchiving files. For this reason, I will unarchive the file on my uh, local computer, and I will then upload the folder to my uh, server. So, unarchive the Drupal download okay next uh, we will uh, need to read uh, some of the upgrade information uh, since this is the first time that I'm actually updating Drupal I'm actually going to read this uh, along with you Okay, so uh, we will need to put the site into maintenance mode. I'm not going to do this right now because uh, there are still some uh, files that we need to download from our server before uploading any files. Uh, so I don't want my site to be down for a long period of time. So I'm going to uh, wait uh, until I download uh, my backed up files. You will want to be very careful while upgrading uh, Drupal because you do not want to lose any of your information that you have uh, added to the site. This is again very very important. 
any uh, move that you uh, make here that goes wrong and you will lose your sight so be very careful once again the important files and well folders I should say to uh, make a backup of our sites the sites folder which is this folder right here next we will need the .ht axis and robots uh, that text file if you made any changes uh, to it so these are two files that you will need to uh, make backups of next we will need to back up our settings file uh, this settings.php file uh, this is the file that contains uh, information for our database and uh, other uh, personalized information of our Drupal install so let's start by uh, saving all this information to our local computer this way again if something goes wrong we uh, have backups on our local computer uh, while we can preserve these files on our remote uh, server uh, it is advised that you download them to your local computer just in case something goes wrong with the server so I will start by uh, downloading the sites folder so right click and download on the folder sites this can take a while so give it time okay so after you've downloaded your sites folder it uh, should tell you if everything went through uh, just fine uh, so next we will download the rest of the files that we need these will download a lot faster than the other files I also have a sitemap that I need to download. As for your uh, settings.php uh, file, it's actually in uh, the sites uh, directory, which I actually had to uh, look up because in the instructions it doesn't actually tell you where the settings.php file is. So since we downloaded the sites directory, the settings.php uh, file is in that directory. Also, uh, before I proceed any further, I would like to uh, tell you exactly what we were downloading earlier. Again, uh, for you this might be different than it is for me because right now I'm upgrading to Drupal 7.17. Uh, um, you can find out exactly which uh, directories and files you need to uh, make backups of by looking in the upgrade.txt file in your Drupal installation folder but as of this version I am uh, backing up the directory sites I am backing up the file .htaccess robots.txt robots.txt and uh, settings.php which is in the sites directory now we uh, can proceed by actually uh, uploading the latest uh, version of Drupal to our server which in my case is Drupal 7.17 so locate that uh, directory in your uh, uh, download folder or wherever it is uh, so go to FileZilla and locate that download and then upload it to your remote server by right clicking and on by clicking upload again this will take a while just to let you know that my uh, upload has uh, finished and uh, for uh, the .ht access file that I downloaded earlier just so that you know on my uh, Mac 
uh, .htx as files are seen as system files and for that reason they are hidden. Um, I don't know if they're hidden on a Windows computer but I basically had to uh, go into my system uh, through a terminal and I had to um, enable um, the ability to see .ht access files so you may need to do that as well. Now uh, we can put um, our site into uh, maintenance mode since the files uh, have been uploaded so we go to our Drupal admin panel we click on configuration we go down to development and we click on maintenance mode and we check uh, the checkbox next to put site into maintenance mode and we click on save configuration now we will delete uh, the folders and files from the old Drupal install uh, please again before you proceed with this next step make sure that you have everything backed up because uh, anything that gets deleted now will be gone forever and your site uh, can um, uh, suffer from this so please uh, make sure that you are uh, backing up uh, your site properly so just go ahead and delete all of the folders and files except for the Drupal-7.17 folder or whatever version you just uploaded, the latest uh, Drupal version that you uploaded. And you're also going to want to uh, preserve the sites folder. So the Drupal uh, upgrade uh, that you just uploaded and uh, the sites directory the .ht access uh, file, the robots.txt file, and any other custom files, for example mine was uh, sitemap.xml. Okay, so once you have finished uh, deleting the files and folders, uh, you go into your um, upload a Drupal folder and you move all of the files and directories into the root or uh, the folder in which uh, you have uh, Drupal installed. Uh, you basically move everything except for the sites uh, directory, uh, the .ht access uh, file, the robots.txt file, and any other custom files. Once you have finished moving your files and directories, uh, if you check the upgrade.txt uh, file, you will see that uh, Drupal actually recommends that we uh, uh, open up our settings.php uh, file in a file editor, our old settings.php file. And uh, basically uh, copy the information from that file into the new settings.php uh, file that Drupal has in the sites folder. Uh, basically uh, they tell you to go to the notes section, the release notes section of Drupal to figure out whether uh, the information in this file needs to be rewritten so you can do that on the page where you downloaded Drupal and uh, next to the version there's a link uh, that says notes you click on that and here it tells you whether changes have been made to the settings.php file and this version changes have been made but they are telling us that it's not necessary to uh, update uh, the settings.php file I prefer to uh, update the settings.php file so in uh, the Drupal upload that you uh, just uploaded to your server, if you go to the site section, you will see in default the default.settings.php uh, file. 
you basically want to open that file and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that on my local computer so I'm going to go into the Drupal uh, folder and I'm going to go to default and I'm going to open up this uh, default um, dot settings dot php file and from my uh, custom settings dot php file which is in my uh, backup which I downloaded earlier the sites directory that I downloaded I have um, the settings dot php um, file in um, the default folder and I can open up that settings that PHP file so you're basically going to want to copy and paste the server specific um, information or uh, information that only pertains to you uh, from this existing settings that PHP file to the default that settings that PHP file for example you're going to want to paste in um, the database uh, information you're going to paste over this line the information from your existing settings.php file. Uh, then you're going to want to paste uh, the Drupal hash salt uh, right here. You, you can actually paste over this line. And then once you have finished uh, pasting uh, all this information into the default.settings.php file, you're going to want to uh, open up uh, the uh, existing uh, settings that PHP file that's on your uh, server and you're going to want to paste the information into this file so you can right click on it and click view edit and we're going to use the default editor for text files and now we're going to um, enter in that information also when you want to save the file you might not be able to save the file due to permissions due to writing permissions so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click the file and click on file permissions and make sure that you have uh, that you can write and execute the file um, after you have finished making the changes to the file you basically untick these two uh, values and uh, you click OK so right now you're going to want them ticked off and you're going to click OK until you finish editing the file once you have finished editing the file you basically make sure that uh, the file is no longer writable because you don't want someone to come along and rewrite this file and as you can see the settings that PHP file has been overwritten and now we go to our website and we uh, access it with we access the update that PHP uh, file here and we click uh, continue if uh, you run into any trouble updating your system uh, in the upgrade.txt file it says to uh, open uh, settings.php with a text editor and find the line that says update free access equals false to update free access equals true okay now we have uh, finished and um, we are told uh, in the upgrade.txt file that we should go to our admin panel uh, and then go to reports and status report and verify that everything is working as expected and everything uh, seems fine so we now go to configuration and we basically uh, put our site off of maintenance mode we uncheck this put site into maintenance mode and click on save configuration and our site should now be back to normal thanks for watching and uh, please stay tuned for more t video tutorials